Hello. Hello. Sorry about that. Oh no worries. I was trying to um I was trying to actually um uh uh I was trying to stop the stream uh the live stream thing and uh and get a, um and get a brow um and uh and get a, um a new uh a new browser open so we can talk. Awesome. Uh, okay. So how have you been? Oh, busy as ever. Really? What do you what do you yes. what do you do besides uh um 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 besides being in a band? Uh, my brothers and I own a bar. Oh, really? And I also have a dog rescue. Okay. I have five dogs of my own, and oh, wow. I'm always running around like crazy. But there's been a lot of tons and tons of work with the band lately. So really, on overtime. I heard I heard you guys have a music video coming out that I'm not supposed to know about. About what? About a music video that I'm not supposed to know about. Yep. <laughs> There's a few videos, but not even allowed to talk about them until they come out. <laughs> I know. Um, but are they off your new album, though, um, coming out? Or do you guys have a new album coming out? We do have a new album coming out. Uh, right now it's slated for August. August? This, this, this August or next August? This August. This August? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Do you, do you guys have a name of do you, do you, do you guys have a name of the album already or are you are you are you guys still compl are you guys still contemplating uh whether whether or not what the, what the album's gonna be what what the name of it is? Oh yeah, we don't we don't have a title yet. We don't even have the final titles of any of the songs yet. So. Oh wow! <laughs> Everything's just working titles right now. Okay. So um so so how did you get how did you get the name um uh, unto fate? Well, we actually were another band called Jackie for eight years, and I wasn't a solo pop artist, so I didn't think it fit too well. And marketing and agents at the time thought that the band should be called Jackie because of what people were oh, okay their advertisements and whatnot, but uh one point I said, screw it, we're changing the name. So yeah. for about a year and a half, all the guys and myself wrote down every name we could think of that we thought would be cool. And we said we wanted to do a name that all four of us agreed upon. And so we wouldn't settle until we found something that we all agreed upon. So for a year and a half, we messaged each other names and talked about names and then my grandfather, who was a huge influence in my life, he was in the hospital, and he was passing away. And for about two and a half days, I sat by his bedside holding his hand. And during that time, for some reason, the name Unsaid Fate popped in my head. Hmm. And I messaged it to all the guys. And one by one, I got, wow, that, that's perfect. That's awesome. Okay. That's the name. So all of a sudden, we just all love this name. And to me, the name means we are not writing our own destiny. No one's okay. going to tell us, you know, what and what, when we could do stuff and how we could do it. And yeah. we're writing it ourselves now. So now, um, I know you guys played, um, you guys just played the Odin, which is, um, the Odin, which just opened up, uh, what, uh, last weekend? Correct. Right, right. Where's the Odin at? It's in uh, downtown Cleveland in the flats. Okay. Like, 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 like um, where, uh, where, whereabouts in the flats is it? Like, 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 um, like, what, uh, what's the surroundings? Well, it's right on the river. Okay. Um, and it's on the east bank of the flats, and there, it's the other side of the flats would be shooters and. Oh. Uh, well, oh, okay, like um, like like on the count, I'm I'm kind of like where uh, Time War Amphitheater used to be. Correct. Okay. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's actually. Oh, wait, wait. So, so you're saying it became time? So you're saying Time War Amphitheater became the Odin, or no, is that? The Odin actually been there for many, uh, many, many years. And oh, about. So oh, so it's near. It's near. It's, it's near Time War Amphitheater. Yeah. Okay. About. 2006, they shut the Odeon down, and Odeon was one of the biggest music venues in Cleveland. Okay. I don't know why they did it, 
but for the last almost decade, they didn't allow live music there for whatever reason. That's weird. Just recently, new owners picked it up and got it reopened as a music, live music venue. So we're all, all local Cleveland musicians are very excited okay. because it's a great venue. Now, um, are you guys just played, uh, well, the, 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 talk, talking about the Odin, are you guys played with Mushroom Head, did you not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, uh, I was, uh, I was, I was trying to, go to, I was trying, to go, I was trying to go to that show because I like Mushroom Head and stuff, and I just, I just didn't know where the Odin was. Now, if you guys play at the Gore, I know where the Gore is, but uh, where the, um, where the Odin is, I, the, the Odin or the Odin, I don't know what, 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 what the name is. It, um, um, is, is it, is it the Odin or is it the Odin? It's the Odin. Odin, okay. I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> no, it's okay. um, but, um, uh, if it was, if, if it was, if it was at the Agora, I would know where it is. Um, I've, I've, I've been to the Agora a couple times. That's about it. That's all I've been to. Uh, 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 that, that, that's how many times I've been to the Agora. It was about a couple times, about two times. I went, for, I went, I, I went for my, because my friend's band was playing and I went, uh, to go, to go see, um, uh, I think it was, uh, uh, some kind of, uh, um, uh, radiant party. It was some kind of lights, um, neon lights thing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it was. I mean, uh, uh, it was cool at first, but then kind of get, then, get, then, get, then get kind of boring after a while because you see, you see, you see, you see the same, the same, the same acts. Right. But um, but yeah. Um, so you guys have a new album coming out, coming out in August. Um. Uh, let's see. Um. Uh, do you, do you, no, um, I think you, do you play guitar? I do not. You I play have, guitar? I'm learning guitar. Oh, are I you? I would have learned it as a child so I could obtain it a little easier. Yeah. I try, I try, I try to play guitar a little bit and, uh, it's kind of hard because my one finger, my pinky finger does not bend the right way that, 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 that's supposed to when you, when you, um, when you go to play the chords and stuff, my finger does not bend the right way. Right. So, I'm um, like, so it's just kind of hard right way at all. <laughs> I mean, I play drums a little bit, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody's got their things that they're good at. Now, um, speaking of songs, uh, and guitar, um, uh, well, um, my favorite song for you guys' albums, I have all the ones I listen to, is probably, um, if I can remember the name, um, it's, uh, it's the one. It's the one where you're in the car. I can't remember what the the name oh, of it is. Addiction. What is it? Our addiction. Yeah, that's the one. And I like it's I like the, um I like uh I like the, um the uh the other one too uh the um uh I think it's uh the, the, uh the uh the um it, it's not it's, it's not Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. It's um it's uh it's the Hyde. I think it is. Yeah, the hide. Yeah, the hide. That's the other video one. Yeah. Yeah. No, do you guys um no, no, I don't know no um um I've wanted to ask this for a long time um um uh but uh um no the the hide I think yeah the hide did you guys film that at Swear's Castle or no? Yeah, we did. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. I figured because I, I I saw I, I saw the castle I was like wait a second that's Swear's Castle and Will and, and um and, and, and Willby Hills. Yep. I love that place. We used to go there as kids. My parents would take us there. So, did you know that? Uh, do you know a fun fact that um that uh it would it would have been built a little bit bigger if it, if if the guy's wife hadn't died. Right. Um. That's 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 a fun fact because I was I, I, I was looking at this website and um it had different castles in Ohio, and one of them was Squares Castle, and it said it said um due to due due to the death of the of the, of, of, of uh Mr. Squares' wife. Um. Uh. He didn't finish the castle. Yeah, that's sad. But you know what? It still stands in memory of both of them. Yeah. And it will forever. And it's a nice park too. Yeah. Have you ever been down to Franklin Castle in Cleveland? No. No. It's is really neat looking. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is that that one? Is it the one? Um, the one castle that's um that's a, that's supposed to be haunted or something? Yeah, it's one of the most haunted places in Ohio. Yeah. I haven't uh, been there yet. No. What, 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 what street is it on? It's down by 44th and 41st Street, uh, right off of Lake Avenue, I think. Okay. 
Um, I'm, not just, I, I'm from Menor, so I'm not really f too familiar with uh, with um, with uh, Cleveland areas. <laughs> well, if you're bored and you go out this way and you got your friends, you guys should go check it out. It's really cool. Yeah, my friend. Uh, my friend's actually. Um, uh, he he likes the um, he likes the um, the um, the, uh, the paranormal stuff. Yeah, I li I know a lot of those people. <laughs> yeah, he um, we're actually. Uh, 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 here at Lakeland, though, we're trying to we're trying to get a club together for for Paranormal Club. Mm -hmm. It's um it 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 it, it, it was it, it wasn't dormant because it was never a club to begin with, but we're trying to get but, but my friend but, but my friend's trying to get to become a club, and he has like so many signatures on it, but nobody want no but nobody but nobody has the time to go do anything because they uh they work and stuff. So it's kind of hard to have a club at school and have someone run it if if you don't have any people that want to come to it. Right. But um, well, you gotta get people interested, is all. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, really, I'm not. I'm not really part of the club. I just. I just. I. I'm. I'm. I just help them try to find people that might be interested in stuff. But tell um, them there's a hot chick in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he. Um. He. Uh. He. Uh, he. Hit, he hits on every single. Every single girl probably. Um. Um. That comes. That comes by him. <laughs> it's not even funny. Sounds like all my brothers. <laughs> um. Uh, um, he telling me you guys gotta be yourself and don't 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 push yourself so hard, you yeah. know. And just you just you, you, you just gotta be yourself and be laid back. You, you can't you can't you can't um, what's the word um, you can't force yourself. Uh, no, you can't you can't force yourself to do anything, you know. Because you know if they don't like you if they don't like you back, you know that's the, nothing. The, the, there's nothing really you can do. Right. But um, right. anyway, um, it's if you can, oh, go ahead. Oh, as I said, it's stay true to who you are. Oh yeah. Um, if you could play any instrument in the world, uh, what would it be and why? <sighs> well, you know what? I really enjoy, piano, but I don't know how to play it that well. Well, piano. Yeah, it for some reason it just feels very natural to put my fingers on the keys, and I it. I never truly learned. I could play some stuff on piano and keyboard, but I'd love to be a lot more fluent in piano. Okay. Yeah, my uh, my friend plays piano, and um, he's he, he's not the greatest at it, but he can play piano. Or or um, or, or or I should say keyboard because it's it's actually, it's actually a keyboard instead of piano. Because, uh, the, the difference between a piano and a keyboard, a keyboard's like um like a Yamaha and it's, and a, a Yamaha or um or 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 a Roland. Or um or any 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 types and it's um it's it's on a stand it's on it's on like a it's on it's on like one of those stands and stuff and a piano is and a piano is like a big it's it's like a big piano that's on the ground. Yeah. So that's the difference between a keyboard and a piano. But I I never I I never knew the difference before um until about a couple years ago I was like, what's the difference between a piano and a keyboard? Aren't they the same thing? Don't they play the same chords? Or, 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 I mean, not chords, keys, I mean. Right, well, there's a different feeling for sure behind a piano. They have the weighted keys that, they try to make the keyboards that have the weighted keys, yeah. but they still don't feel the same as a piano. No. no. So I've been looking at this, so I've been looking at the screen, and, and um, it has your picture on the screen. Oh, it doesn't have my video? No. I just noticed that just now. I I I, I was I was kind of looking around and, and, and talking and stuff. I I I, 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 gonna... I didn't even notice it. How about now? I see now. I didn't notice it before. I was like I was like I was like where that where, why is the picture why is the picture blank? I was like oh there it is. Oh why didn't you say something? I didn't know it was. I didn't know, I didn't know it was either. But... <laughs> um now um uh. <laughs> This question is about your band, but I um, but I know that you're um, I know you're dating or you're married to or 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 or, 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 or something um 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 um. You're, I think you're dating the guy from from Mushroom, aren't you? Or you were? I am. No, we've been together for eleven years. Holy crap! Uh, it's Skinny the drummer. Oh, he's a drummer. I thought it was like, I always thought he was a. I thought he was a guitar player. That's what I thought he was. No, no. Oh, Skinny's no, no. A, drummer. He's a drummer. Yeah, Skinny's a drummer. And he's Mushroom Head. He's uh, what? He, no, I'm sorry. He's the boss of Mushroom Head. He produces all their music. Oh, wow. Um, he calls the shots, basically, and they call him Boss Man, so. Oh, wow. Now, how long has he 
the how long how long has he been playing drums for? Do you know? Uh, since he was about sixteen, and oh, wow. he's about forty four now. I I I never knew Mushroomhead was that old. Well, I thought that I thought I thought older. they were at least I thought they were at least in their like thirties, maybe maybe forties, but I know they're that old. Yeah, well, Jeff is the oldest, and then um, Tom Schmatz, Skinny, and J Man. Those are from the original lineup. Now so is they're... um is uh is is uh is Stitch part of the original or no? Uh, what, I can't think of his name. No, he's actually in his thirties. So he's one in his thirties. Waylon's in his thirties. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Church is in his thirties. Who else? Robbie's in his thirties. Okay. Well, Robbie's the youngest. I think he's thirty, thirty-one. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, because um, I know that I know that I, I, know, that, I know that they they remind me of Slipknot a lot. Yeah, they get that. Yeah, but um, um but, but 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 the difference between Mushroom and Slipknot is, is 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 um is is Mushroom Head has their own has their own style behind it. They have their own uh they have their own look behind it, and they and they have different um they have different meanings behind their masks. Uh, well, so does Slipknot, but 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 they're both but they're both different, but they're both, but they're both different in in their, in their own way. Right. Yeah, they're very different and very different music and very different personalities and characters. And um, they're actually friends with most of the guys from Slipknot, really? even though people think they're they hate each other, but they don't. No, it's mostly no. label and press stuff. Now, where is no? no I, I I know we're getting off topic here, but where is Mushroom Head from? Though are they, are they from in the Cleveland area, like, like, I'm, 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 like locally, the Cleveland area, like around like like Lakewood, Lake uh, Lakewood, and uh, Cleveland Heights, stuff like that. Well, um, they originate out of North Royalton. North Royalton. Um, I think I know where that is. It's all uh, like it's like it's, it's like in the middle of down south from Cleveland. Yeah, it's um, it's about twenty minutes south of Cleveland, downtown Cleveland. Okay, okay. Because I um I read their I read their blog not not their blog but they're they're uh, they're about me and it says Cleveland and so I was always from Cleveland not North North Royalton but that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm on said fates from Cleveland as well, but that's only where you guys, where you guys, where, where's on said fate originally from, though? All over, all over Cleveland. Yeah, all over the surrounding suburbs, really. Now you have how many people in the band? Uh, it's you, the drummer. The drummer's I, actually my brother. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, my brother Mikey. Uh, he's my younger brother, much taller than his younger brother. And your um, and your and your, and your other brother is Sam. He's um, he's your manager, isn't he? That's my dad. Oh, that's your dad. Oh, I, thought, uh, I thought your brother. I thought I thought I thought I thought, I thought it was your brother also because it has the same last name. Yeah, no. It's, um, my dad got us into music. Actually, he was in bands growing up. He played with bands like Blue Oyster Cult and Chuck Berry, and then uh, Chuck Berry. Mm-hmm. Really? And, uh, that's that's like, that, that, that old back there. Concert venues. That's really old. And growing up, babies, we had things that my dad managed in our basement, and then Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails oh, yeah. used to be one of my dad's roadies. So I would sit next to him upstairs before he ever made it or even got into music. Wow. And then we just wow. kind of naturally fell into rhythm, and we just did music. It was just natural for us to wow. go that path. Hmm. Now, um, my guitar player, now who's, the, who's the guitar player and who's the bass player? Don DiBiase the guitar player, and he actually was in my band back in 2004 for about two years helping fill in. Uh-huh. And he came from a family whose father played in bands with my dad, oh, which wow. is another ironic, like personally ironic, but a me like little thing that happened um then we have nino who we picked up we met him while he was road crewing for mushroom head wow and he's a young kid and you know he was in a band he was originally a guitar player but he also knows how to play the drums a little bit and he knows how to play bass and we at the time our bass player mike donovan and our guitar player patrick olds 
Patrick just had a baby and he was married and then he was expecting yeah. another baby and he just felt that he couldn't, he couldn't really, he throw couldn't, it anymore because yeah. he's you know he felt bad leaving his family and then Mike Donovan just got married and he was expecting a baby and he also he had his other band How About No which is a really cool Cleveland punk band no her it was just all too much for him as well so they both backed out. And it was kind of all perfect timing. Um, we met Nino, and Donnie was back in the picture, so it all worked out for the best. Now, um, uh, what's your favorite venue to play? I mean, like, uh, all the venues you play, what's your? I mean, if, if you can narrow it down, what's your what's your favorite venue that you played? You know, I'm really big into the natural built acoustic buildings like the natural theater settings like um like um uh, like uh like uh blossom is like how is uh, how, how's made out of wood and stuff and inside um that's amazing i've never gotten to play blossom I, oh yeah too, right. yeah sorry <laughs> my brother mikey has though with wow. uh mushroom head for the mushroom head disturbed show oh and I, man. I was so jealous it's like you're not supposed to be allowed to play that until we play it together you jerk <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But he got honored to do that show. But I would say, like, Cleveland Agora is a good natural setting oh, for yeah. a venue because you could stand on stage and sing without a mic and hear it echo through. Oh, yeah. And it's a, just a beautiful... Um, there's a few places around the states that are amazing. I can't think of all think of them, of, though. can't think of all of them, though. No, but they're, I like the natural setting, the natural acoustics. Now here's a question for you. Um, what's the, what's the worst venue that you play at? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of bands don't like to um, um, uh, um, uh, talk about the worst the worst venues, but no, no, no. Um, um, there, there are some venues that you don't like. Um, um, uh, and stuff that are the um, the atmosphere is kind of the atmosphere is not out there. I can't remember the name of it, but it is in Ohio somewhere. And let me just say, it was a stage that was about the size of a king bed. Wow. And the sound system was maybe two little monitors that we would typically use to hear ourselves on stage, not for the crowd to hear. Oh, wow. Um, the lighting was one hanging light from the ceiling <laughs> with regular light bulb in it. My light guy had to sit and switch the light on and off. And he just laughed. He's like, yep, I've really made it in life. As he clicked on and off. Oh, my God. The top player busted the light on purpose because he was so mad about this whole place. Wow. I don't know. I, I, I can't think of a place that has that, that has that kind of stage. But you know what? We walked in. We saw it. We were kind of bummed out that that was what we had to play for the day. But we all looked at each other and said, you know what? Screw it. We get to play music for a living, and yeah. let's just make the best of it and have fun. It's a, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a passion you guys have for music and stuff. It, 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 it's, a, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a passion for music that you don't lose ever. Right. And you know what? There were... Probably a hundred people there that came to see us. Yeah. And this was, God, maybe eight, ten years ago already. Oh, wow. And they came to see us. So we we were there to do our job. And that's what we did. We had a blast with these people. And it was very much a personal show. It wasn't yeah. our favorite venue, but the fans were there. And we were there for them. We showed up. Have you ever um, played out the Grog Shop in Cleveland Heights? No, we actually have never played in that general area for some reason. I don't know if it was just we weren't the right genre for it or what. Um, but... um the genre is really is, is really any kind of genre, really. It doesn't really it doesn't really have to be a, sp a specific genre. Um, uh, I'm actually going there tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually performing tomorrow. Uh, with uh, with my friend with 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 my best friend from um um from a band uh, that's local. Um. Uh, there's also gonna be uh, a band from uh, Nashville coming up uh, who used to be in Ohio. They're called uh, Four Door Theater. Uh, oh. They used to, um, uh, they used to be uh, um, um, they used to be a Cleveland band, uh, and they moved to Nashville to get more to get more uh, to get more um, uh, exposure, more, more exposure. And um, 
I was one band called Rose Ro uh, called Rosedale. They're from Canada and they're coming down. Um, so there's a lot. So there's a lot of bands. Um, I don't know if you heard of the band called Keys and Corridors. No, I haven't really heard they're of from, any of these um, bands. But they're from happen. Akron. They're, oh, they're from Akron and they're coming down, or coming up. Uh, be, because Akron's down below Cleveland, not not up above Cleveland. <laughs> Right. Um, but yeah, so um, it's uh, it's like eight bucks for like for, like, for like the show at the door. Uh, I'm performing at the I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm performing my song that I wrote at the very end. So. What are you? What, are you no, I uh, I just I just I well I don't sing either, but uh but uh the song I wrote is actually uh, um like it, 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 it's kind of like a um like a poppy it's kind of like a pop type song. It's um it's it's it, it's more it's more of an acoustic uh, uh, pop than than really than really electric pop. It, it, but, um, I wrote it, I wrote it about I don't know how many minutes, like probably at least thirty minutes. Uh, but I wrote I wrote I wrote it like a long time ago. I wrote it like about when I was in high school, uh, which was about eight years ago, and uh, and um and, and I just now had me, I just now a couple weeks ago I just had music added added to it. Oh, for the cool. longest time, so I have so I, so I have a guitar behind it and stuff, but uh, that's all. I, but, but that's all I have. I don't have drums or anything like that. I was I was gonna try to see if the guy from Rosedale would actually play uh, uh play um play keyboard for me, uh for for the song. Uh, make, make up um I would I would send them I would send them the uh, um the audio clip, um of the song and have him have him see if he can uh um uh make some uh. Uh, some core, uh, some key, um, 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 some, 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 uh, keyboard keys and stuff to it, but um, it's, it's, it, 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 um, it's tomorrow and I and I can't really send it to him in, in one day's time. Right. Yeah, you know, because he's because he's probably on his way here already. You know, you know, you know, you know I know Canada's like a couple of hours, a couple hours away, but you want you want to be in the night before because you don't want to, you have you have car trouble or stuff like that yeah, happen. Yeah, issues. Yeah, you don't have issues. Uh, but he Do you travels... have your song on you now? Yeah, I have a song on me now. Yeah. Can I hear it? Yeah. Let's. Uh, let me see. Um. Let me. Let me. Let me, let me get out what I was. I was looking at. Yeah. See if I can see if that's on here now. Yeah. Hang on. Let me unplug my my keyboard thing here. Uh. Let's see if I can find it. Uh. Where is it? It's on here somewhere. Um, What's it called? It's called Shattered Dreams. Oh. Okay. I. I think I found it. Yeah. Here it is. All right. Here it is. You hear that? I do. It sounds great. That's my friend playing the guitar. And him singing it. I'm not singing it, though. Are you able to send me the auto audio yeah, clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, through 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 what email and stuff? I can send it through email. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you, um, 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 if you just what well, since you have my since you have my number, you can just um you can just uh um uh text me your um uh, text me the email, and I'll send it to you. Because um I can send I can I I I can send it right now um and stuff so. Okay, I'm sending it right now. All right. Let me get my let me get my uh. Uh, email open so I can send it. Let's see. Uh, no, no, yeah, there we go. All right, let me get. All right, let me just let me just put it in real quick, and then I can send it. I spelled it wrong. Oops. Come on. Let me see if I get that right. Hang on, let me, let me double check this. Okay, I'll send it to you now. Okay. Alright, let me send it. Put the name. Um, send it. 
attach file, insert from drive, it's in the drive. Just gotta find it first. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Okay, no, okay. Oh, here it is, found it. Oh wait, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm sending it to you now. Okay. It's sent. Well, it's sending now, okay, now it's sent. All right, there we go. Awesome. Um, but yeah, um, I wrote it. I wrote that in about thirty, th about twenty, twenty-five minutes, and uh, it's it's a song about it's a song about um having a dream shattered. Um, it's just and you're, and you're trying to pick pick yourself back up again, but you really can't because they're busy, because once again they get um 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 they get broken and stuff. You can't really pick them back up. Um, we try to put the pieces back together. Uh, Is but, something that you wrote about in your life. Yeah, it's just it's just the dreams a dream that I had um uh, at the time it, it, it just wasn't going my way. Um, I forgot I forgot, I forgot what the dream was really. Um, I think it was about I think it was about I think it was about my drumming and stuff, my uh, playing the drums and stuff because I, I I really couldn't get it down pat and stuff and it just um it just wasn't um it wasn't my uh wasn't my day. Well. At least you know to just keep going. Yeah, I have about I have about thirty thirty I have about thirty two more songs written. They still need a song. They still still need music added to it. Well, and two of these songs are Christmas songs. <laughs> at least you're writing. Hey, man, yeah. people make a lot of money writing songs. Yeah. So what's your dream now? Um, to become a radio host. Uh, to become the, to be something in the radio industry. Um, I want to work my way up. Right now, I'm an intern at at a, at a radio station. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's called Cougar 93. With Cougar Cougar 93.7. It's a it's a Lake County station. It, it it only goes to like University Heights. I I, okay. I so you, University Circle and it cuts out and uh, it goes all the way to Ashtabula, uh, the into um into Geneva and Ashtabula and uh, in Kanya and then it stops. Oh, cool. But I'm an intern there. I do all the web updating. I do all the. Uh, today they made me um uh, because they got their walls painted while I was while um, while I was gone and stuff, um uh, for, for for working and stuff the last five days, and um uh, I guess they got the, I guess they got the walls painted on yesterday or something, and uh uh and they made they made me uh um uh, screw back in the uh, the um the um the covers to the uh to the uh, uh plugs and stuff. Right. It was uh it was so so frustrating because the screw would not go in. Oh. So I was trying to screw it in and it's just well. it, 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 it's too screw would not screw in. But I finally got I finally got in though, but it took it took it took about ten minutes to get it in. That's okay. You did it and you got it done. Yep. And and, and in my room sits my drum set still. So keep playing. Uh, I have a, I have a broken hi hat. That I need to get fixed. I need to get a new one, and I need a new uh, crash cymbal. Need need new drum heads. So I need I need I need a lot of a uh, lot of a uh, uh, lot of uh, equipment to get done. What kind of kit is it? It's a it's a knockoff. It's a it's a it's like a, it's like not a name brand uh, kit. It's a it's an Excel. It's kind of a knockoff name brand. I paid like I, I, back in the day when I was in seventh grade. I paid like seven, like five hundred bucks for it, seven hundred seven hundred dollars for it. That's awesome. And, and for that money, I could have got a pearl, but my dad said you're not getting a pearl. I'm like seriously. Oh. Busy said busy, busy said busy, busy said he he wanted me to get a star a starter kit first. I'm like, I don't want a starter kit. I want a pearl. But mm -hmm. I never, but I, never, I never got one so. But hopefully, oh, there's um, many other kinds out there now yeah, there's, too. There's Ludwig. Uh, there's uh, there's D, D, uh, D, D, there's DW. There's uh, Tama. Tama, yeah. Crush. Crush is a new big one now. Crush. Yeah, everybody plays. A lot of bands play Crush now. Really? Is it the yeah. one with the? Is it the one with the white? The white? Uh, the white? Um, the white? Uh, drum head on the on 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 the bass. It has like it has like some kind of uh some kind of um um like uh like uh like um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like a like a, like a, like a cross on it, like a like a on, on, on like a cross or no? Oh, it just says crush. Oh. Um. Let me see if I can find it. 
And guess who? Guess guess who's going to the Music Awards in in, in July? I am. What? Wait. What Music Awards? Alternative Press Music Awards. Oh, we're at the Rock Hall. No, the Q. Really? Yeah. Like what? When is that? July twenty second. I want to go. Tickets are like uh, sixty selling dollars plus plus all the service fees, so it's probably gonna be like about eighty bucks. Here, I don't know if you could see this, but that's the Crush logo. Okay, I think I've seen. I think I've seen. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, like Skinny oh, also, played a couple different Crush sets. My also, other Mikey plays Crush sometimes. There's also um a, um a Gretchen. Gretchen's also the the other the other um the other the other, the other uh, uh drums. I think it's a Gretchen. Or uh yeah, G R G R E S. G R E T C H E N. Yeah, I think I know. Or about. Gretch or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, um, they have one of those. Um, and um, uh, well, I don't have one of those. My uh, uh my friend, my, my my friend's dad has one of those. He also has a pearl drum set too. So. Yeah. What color would you get if you got one? Uh, a pearl, probably uh, probably like an all black one or like a green one. Why is green your favorite color? Yeah, that'd be sweet. But I don't, I don't, I, I don't think they come in really. I don't think they come in greens though. I think they come in like, uh, I think they come in like, uh, like a, like a white, like a pearl white. They come in a, uh, like a jet black. They come in, um, like uh, sparkly colored ones, uh, uh, not camouflage, but uh, uh, zebra stripe stuff, stuff like that. Uh, stripe stuff. They come in, um, uh, they come in uh, like. A, like a deep purple sometimes yeah did you ever see my guitar player stuff no all his stuff is black and neon green is it really yeah it's awesome it looks so cool his his drum set is neon green and black no, no my my guitar player oh your, his, his drum set or his guitar his guitar his guitar is green, young. He's green. His, his, his guitar with is ten green highlights. It's really cool. I'm gonna to try to pull up a picture of it. Wow, I've never seen that before. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a neon green uh, Ivan as a guitar before. Yeah. Yeah. He plays um, a Schecter. A Schecter. I believe. Yeah, I believe it's Schecter. Let me find a picture of it. I never heard. I never well, he heard plays that. a bunch of different guitars and he names them as well. Oh God. One's they, called Mean Gene, one's called The Warrior, one's called uh, Velvet Sky. The, oh, jeez. The wrestling chick from TNA. Oh, jeez. Seriously? Yep. He names all of them. Wow. And uh, Which is cool because then when he asks one of the road, road crew guys, they know exactly what guitar he's talking about. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have a guitar myself. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, 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 it's a knockoff. His guitar that oh, he wow. calls the Warrior. It's all green with uh, some black and white on it. Oh wow! And then I'm trying to find his newest one. Oh wow! It's all black with some neon green. Jeez, he must have a lot of money to spend. No, he's just been doing it for a long time and collecting, and. Uh, Does he does he trade his guitars in and gets new ones? No, I think he just builds. Here's his, uh, this is the one he calls Velvet Sky. It's all white with a little bit of green. Oh, wow. Jeez. But this is what he spends the money on that he gets, so. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what? He doesn't even. The new one's for the new album, I think. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. It's not even released yet, is it? No. Here's another one he's got. It's got... It's all black with some green stripes and the warrior face in white. Oh, wow. Uh, I thought it was Batman symbol for a, for a second at first. I was like, what? No, the wrestler, the warrior. Oh, yeah, the warrior, yeah. Yep, he's a big wrestling fanatic and yeah. he's a big yeah. Star Wars fanatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it's in here somewhere, but... It looks awesome. I have a I have a camouflage guitar. Uh, it's a it's knockoff. It's a it's a Marhar, M A H A R. I got my my dad got it for me at Cedar Point when he won when he, when he won uh um uh it was a 
a softball toss. He won three guitars that day. My sister's got the the, the other two. Awesome. Um, but um, I know, and and my, and my friend Bobby, my friend Bobby, who's who, who I'm playing with, uh, at the garage shop tomorrow. Um, he he tuned my guitar with his tuner, so since now it's tuned, so now I can play anything if I can know how to play guitar. Well, you know you can watch a lot of different videos online to learn how to play. Oh yeah, I know that. I try to. Yeah, it's it's. It's hard. I mean, drum, um, drums seem the easiest, but the drums are not easy. No, you have to split your brain in four sections. So you can get this arm doing one thing, this arm doing another oh, yeah, thing, no. each leg doing something else. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I have ADHD and um, it's kind of hard for me to sit still sometimes. So I'm like, always moving. Right. But I take, but I take medicine for that. That helps, that helps me sit down and not, not move so much. Right. Well, I, I my brother has that. My brother Matt and my nephew Aiden. So I understand that yeah. completely. But yeah, you know, um, those, those two are like we were talking the other day. Uh -huh. My I have I have four brothers and wow. I have two cousins that are like my brothers. So I technically have like six brothers. And um, growing up. My brother Matt would always get in trouble and he would always do dumb things and, you know, he was just mischievous because of his ADHD. And looking back on it now, I look at my mom and I'm like, you guys always have the funniest, cutest stories, <laughs> but they're always about Matt. I'm like, you guys always were, like, losing your mind because he was so busy all the time and so hyper, but now he's the one that's got all these amazing stories from his childhood. And that's so cool. So a lot of people see ADHD or ADD as a negative, and I yeah. just see it as a positive because people remember the ones with ADHD more. Yeah, they remember all the stories. My friend has my friend has ADHD, and uh, he he has a mouth on he's mouth like a sailor. <laughs> uh oh, I can relate. I do too. I mean, I mean, I, and he goes and he goes to church too, and, and 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 he still swears. I'm like, dude, you go to church and you still swear like that. You know what though, I. I have a really bad mouth. I say a lot of bad words all the time. Yeah. But I, I um my I go to church and I talk to my mom and she's always like, Do you have to say those words? But you know what? It's two thousand fifteen and it's just another word at this point and yeah. it's really not a bad word anymore. It's just another way to show emotion on something. Yeah. And my one of my things that I say on stage and that I put on a T shirt is hashtag can I say the F word on here? No. Okay. Hashtag F haters. Okay. Um, and she kind of was appalled when I first did it, but I explained to her, she's like, it's just so negative. I said, no, it's not. It's, it's empowering people to not care about bullies and it's empowering people to be themselves and do what they were born to do and live their lives for them and make themselves happy and not everybody else around them. And mm -hmm. to just start living their own life. So I took that, what she was calling a negative word, but I use it in a positive sense. Yeah. You know, it's not put out there in my wor world to put down anyone and to make a negative statement. It's put out there to be positive. Yeah. Now, I... I I noticed that you used, um, 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 you mentioned about the F word and stuff. And the mushroom heads has on their shirts a lot. Yeah, but they also use it as a positive sense. Yeah, and, I figure that. You know, the crowds, for some reason, when you use words like that on stage, it it just brings out this energy for some crazy reason. It's just a more powerful word to use, I guess. Yeah. Dumb. But in a sense. Before I let you go, um, um, uh, uh, there was one question I want to ask. Um, uh, now, um, uh, I also wanted to interview Mushroom Head too, but how do I go about doing that? Ah, uh, well, because, because when I, went to, guys, I went to the, when I went, did your last show. Um, well, the last show is today. Um, so it was, so it's going to have to be in, in the fall, uh, between, uh, between August and December. 
Okay, well, I'm sure uh, if you contact... Do you, you have Facebook, right? Yeah. Um, you Write this name down. Okay, hang on a second. Let me write and get a pen. Get paper here. Okay, what is it? Okay, his name is Jason. Okay. Cloth with a K. It's K L O T H. Okay. Uh, you can message him. Okay. And ask him if he could, if you could set up an interview for the fall, but he'll probably tell you to get back to him in the fall. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know that. Okay. But he's the person who you can contact to see if you can get someone solid knock locked down. Yeah. And tell him that I um gave you his info okay. and I did an interview with you as well. Okay. Yeah, because, But with um, those it's hard to get them yeah, yeah. for more than fifteen minutes. Yeah. You know, they only do like fifteen minute interviews. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, um, 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 but to get them on the show, on my show, uh, on a college-run radio station, would be the coolest thing ever, really. Well, I'll try to help. Because um, I've got uh, I've gotten um, I've gotten um, uh, bands from different countries on this show. From Sweden, from Scotland, from the United Kingdom, from uh, uh I'm working on getting a band from Australia on. Oh, uh, the greatest country. It's so yeah. beautiful there. I thought the United States was the greatest country. What are you talking about? No, the U.S. is amazing, yeah, but, but, but there's but, but, something uh, different other countries about have Australia. Different, uh, uh, they have different atmospheres. Yeah, it's it's um. If anybody gets a chance to go there, go. It's amazing. All right. Well, thank you, Jackie. Um, I will. I um. I will try to get. I try. I try to see. Um. Um. I see what you guys are doing. Um. Uh. uh later on. Uh, in the summertime, and I'll get back to you in the fall. Um, that's it for today. Awesome. Well, thanks Thank for having me on, right. Kyle. Thank you. Uh, talk to you soon. All right, have a good one. All right, you too.